Welcome back everyone and in this video we're going to take a look at two stocks that ARK Invest has been heavily buying into over the past few weeks and both companies are on a major decline from their 52 week highs and are now trading at a much more attractive level and ARK is making the most of this opportunity and has been buying the dip. So this has been one of the best asset managers over the past five years and their flagship fund ticker ARKK is up 217% from March 2020. So overall, ARK has been gaining a ton of popularity. They have tens of billions of dollars flowing into their funds. And overall, they focus on disruptive innovation and invest in companies that are gonna change the world. And before we take a look at the first stock that ARK has been buying, I'm gonna ask you to please hit that like button and subscribe. I am the Gen Z investor, and every single day we talk about the stock market, going over different stocks you can buy and any major market news. So please hit that like button, subscribe for the daily videos. And the first stock that ARK has been heavily buying into as of late is ticker TDOC, Teladoc Health. The company currently trades for $182 per share. And over the trailing 12 months, they have grown by just over 15%. They have a current market cap at $30 billion. And as of late, they are on a major decline from their 52 week high of around $294 per share. And from this level, set back in early February 2021, the company has now fallen over 38% back down to the $182 level. And as the share price has seen a massive decline, Ark Invest has been loading up on shares. And at the start of 2021, across all of their different ETFs, ARK owned around 7.3 million shares of Teladoc Health. And over the first three months of this year, they have now increased their position to a total of over 13.15 million at this current point in time. So that means they've purchased over 5.8 million shares. And if we take an average cost of $225, which is right in the middle of the high point and the low point during their buying spree, that means they've invested around 1.3 billion into Teladoc Health to start out 2021, which is absolutely insane. And after these recent purchases, ARK now owns around 8.6% of the entire company. So ARK is a major shareholder in Teladoc Health, and they definitely see this being a long-term player in the virtual health and wellness sector. And after the close to 40% decline in share price, this high growth company is actually considered undervalued at this current point in time, according to Morningstar. And they have set an estimated fair value per share at $206 in the current level of 182 is well below that mark. So ARK has been buying the dip and loading up on one of their favorite positions when they're actually considered undervalued. And going forward, this virtual healthcare sector is only expected to explode and it's projected to grow over the next three years with an annual CAGR of 40.4% and the estimated market will achieve 250 billion over the long term. And Teladoc Health is already a globally recognized brand and in 2020, they delivered 10.6 million visits through their services and they now operate at over 11,000 locations as of Q4 2020. And over 40% of Fortune 500 companies are currently using Teladoc Health and that number continues to grow. And we can see that their strong growth in 2020 due to the pandemic has set them up for long-term success over 2021 and beyond. Their bookings were up 35% year over year, they're increasing their average deal size and they're cross-selling with more than 40 opportunities. And recently they've added major companies including Lowe's, Whirlpool and many more. And we can see that each and every year, the company has been posting incredible financial results and growing revenue, income, and cash flow every single year as time goes on. And in 2016, they had total revenue of 123 million, and that has grown to over $1 billion, which they achieved in 2020. And that's an average CAGR of over 70%. And each and every year, their members and their visits continue to grow and the company's operating cash flow has hit a high of over 61 million. And we can see that in the full 2020 fiscal year, Teladoc Health 
generated close to $1.1 billion of total revenue, which saw growth of 98% year over year, which is absolutely insane. And their total visits increased 156% to that $10.6 million mark. And I believe that going forward, the demand for virtual healthcare will continue to grow over the long term. I think right now, the traditional healthcare system is very inefficient and has a lot of wasted time. Commuting to your doctor's office, sitting in the waiting room before your appointment, then going in, waiting in a secondary location, finally getting your appointment to see the doctor for only a few minutes before you have to leave and the entire process took way longer than it needs to be. So I believe for all the visits that you don't physically need to see your doctor in person will be conducted online and that transition will continue over the next five to 10 years. And although the current older generation who make up a majority of the doctor's appointments, they did not grow up with technology. So for them to adapt and all of a sudden start going to virtual visits, that's a big change. But for the younger seniors in their 40, 50 and early 60s who may have more exposure to technology in their daily lives, making that transition to a virtual doctor visit will be easier than the seniors right now. So over the next 5, 10, 15 years, the demand and the need and the necessity of virtual visits, I believe, are only going to grow exponentially. And we can see that from their current share price right now, at around that $180 level, we're projecting 34 potential upside to an average share price of $260 over the next 12 months. And at this current level, the company is considered a buy, and we're projecting revenue growth of over 81% in the full 2021 fiscal year, followed by another 31% by year end 2022, with revenue coming in at 2.6 billion. And if we jump over to Simply Wall Street, from their current level right now, for the next five years in the future, total revenue and earnings are projected to continuously grow year over year, and by 2025, we're expecting over $5 billion of annual revenue and close to $1 billion in total net income. So definitely a company to take a look at right now. I'm sure you've heard them before. They're one of the fastest growing names on the market. They're growing revenue by 70, 80, 90% year over year. And after their close to 38% decline in share price, ARK has been buying more and the company is actually considered undervalued according to Morningstar. So Teladoc Health was the first stock. And now if we move on to the second company that ARK has been buying over the past few weeks, we have ticker DDD, 3D Systems Corporation, and they currently trade for $24.65. And we can see starting early 2021, the company's share price absolutely exploded, reaching a high of over $55 per share. And at this current level, they have a market cap at $3.6 billion. But from that high point at that $55 mark, the company has now fallen back down over 55%. And during this recent dip, ARK has been buying shares. And they started their position in 3D Systems on March 11th, 2021. And over the first few weeks, the company has now purchased a total of 1.46 million shares with an average cost of $30. So that means they've invested over 44 million into DDD, over the first two weeks of owning the stock. And we can see, since March 11th, every few days, they continue to load up hundreds of thousands of shares each and every time. And at this current level, with the share price sitting at $24 per share, 3D is trading very close to their estimated fair value, according to Morningstar, which comes in at $23.14. And right now, 3D Systems is ranked as three stars, which means the company is trading at a fair valuation. So after this major decline, if you want exposure to the 3D printing industry, this may be a company to take a look at because they are now fairly trading right around what Morningstar is estimating each share is worth. And this company has been in operations for more than 30 years and they are a leader in the 3D printing industry. They actually manufacture and distribute different 3D printers and the 3D printing supplies. And the company operates in an industry that is projected to see a lot of growth over the next few years. And specifically, for the next five years in the future, we're projecting at least 24% annual growth in their entire market, reaching 35 billion by 2024. So going forward, 
the need for 3D printing is only going to continue to grow, and I think we're still very early on in the mass popularity of the 3D printing industry. And we can see from 2019 to 2024, only exponential growth each and every year. And over the latest quarter, 3D systems shared some very good financial results. They had double digit quarterly revenue growth in their healthcare and industrial segments, and the company returned to profitability and posted positive cash flow in the last 90 days. And we can see that their healthcare revenue grew 42% quarter over quarter, and their industrial revenue was up more than 14% as well. So they did close out 2020 in the fourth quarter with very nice financial results. And going forward, analysts are projecting 130% annual earnings growth for the next three years, and from where they sit today, we're expecting the total revenue and earnings to bounce back and continue to grow year over year for the next five years in the future. So if you're interested in the 3D printing space, then this may be a company to take a look at. They're on a major decline as of late, and ARK has been buying the dip, started a position in mid-March, and has spent over $44 billion buying in to ticker DDD. And right now, they are trading very close to their estimated fair value according to Morningstar. So if you're looking for some exposure into some smaller cap companies in a more unique market, then definitely a name to take a look at. ARK has been buying, and ARK has been right over the past few years. So hopefully this is a company that will see a nice rebound, and the share price will continue to expand from where they are today. So that was company number two, and in this video, we went over Teladoc and 3D Systems, two of the companies that Kathy Wood and her team at ARK Invest have been buying over the past few weeks. So thank you for watching to the end. I am the Gen Z Investor, and if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button and subscribe. I post every single day up with the stock market, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.